Okay, so this is going to be part three of the six part tutorial series I'm doing on making this animation. If you haven't already seen part one where we did the modeling and part two where we did the rigging, make sure to watch them on my channel. But this is going to be part three where we're going to be doing the weight painting. So essentially we're going to be parenting our character and um, weight painting some of the meshes to the rig we made so we can eventually animate this character. So um, I will eventually be uploading some bonus content to my Patreon as well and eventually um, the blend files when this series is done. So, you know, if you want to subscribe to that, that's in the description below if you want to check it out. If not, just keep watching and uh, you'll still be able to make something really cool even with the free version of this course on YouTube. I guess before we parent this rig to the character, what we need to do is do a little bit of organization. So let's just select the rig by clicking on it, okay? We're in object mode. We've got the rig selected and we're gonna press M on our keyboard, so M for Margaret. And we're gonna go new collection and let's call it rig. You can call it whatever. I'm just gonna call it rig and I'm gonna go okay. And over here under our outliner in the scene collection, we have a rig and um, just minimize it, you know, like that. And you can also just um, click on the little eye here to hide it so we don't see it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just select these extras here or these empties. All right, let's just grab them and let's just go M and for now just move them to the rig collection as well. So it's not deleted, it's just on that rig collection which we can bring back in any time. So all we have here is our character mesh. So let's start by applying our mesh a little bit. We're going to start with the legs by clicking on them and we're going to go over to our modifier. We're going to go to our mirror and apply it. So now it's one object. What we're going to do as well, we're going to select the foot here. Uh, let's get rid of that subdivision surface modifier and let's come down to the drop down on the mirror and go apply. And now while we've got this selected, hold in shift and select the leg and then go control J or command J and join that together as one object. Now, if you tab into edit mode, you can uh, see what we have here. Pretty cool. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the eyeballs. We're gonna come to the drop down for the mirror. Go ahead and apply. Tab into edit mode, make sure it's all selected and then press P and then go separate by loose parts. Tab back out. Now you have these two objects, but the origin point for both of them is in this spot, which isn't correct. So with them both, select it, press F3 on your keyboard and type in set space origin, then go origin to geometry. And now the origin is in the middle of the geometry for both of them. See that little orange dot there in the middle? That's really good. So they're now both individual eyes. Now let's select the tray here. Um, let's just tab in quickly to edit mode and just select this rim at the top. And I'm just gonna go X and just delete those verts because I don't think that looks too good. So just have a nice sharp edge. And um, I think that's, that's it. Now we can get into actually doing um, the parenting. So let's get our rig back over here. And with the rig, what we're gonna do is we're going to select our legs, right? And we're gonna hold in shift and click on the, the armature, the rig here. We're gonna go control P and we're gonna go with automatic weights. And that's gonna add weights to this mesh. So if we now click on our mesh here, we can see under the modifiers, it has an armature. So that's just for the leg. So if you select the rig and then holding in shift, select the feet or the legs, we can now go over here to the object and then go down to white paint. And now what we can do is you can just hold in control and left click on any bone and you can see how the weights here are affecting the mesh. So at the moment it's kind of okay but not quite where we want it. So make sure to enable X mirror up here and that's just going to make sure whatever work we do here with the white painting will mirror onto the other side. And um, one thing I forgot to do and we, this is kind of important. So if you quickly go back in to your object mode, just select the legs and, and then what you can do is you can go F3 and once again if you don't have it in the history you can just type it in again but just type in set origin and then you go origin to geometry. Now that little origin point is in the middle and if we now select our rig again and holding and shift select our arms or our, sorry, our legs, we can go over to the white paint and now if we, um, let's just try this out. So holding and control, just click on this toe bone on the left, like in your front view. And then just with the default brush here, let's just actually go and set it to subtract and then just quickly paint away some of the stuff over here towards the back. Okay, see how it's um, darker blue now here. If we now go control and then left click on here, we should see that it's the same on this toe bone here. Because we have that dot L and dot R over here, it's whatever work we do here will mirror onto the other side or vice versa. So um, let's just left holding in control, left click on this toe bone again. All we're gonna do here is just weight paint. So um, this brush here is a subtract. So we've set it to subtract and anything that's lighter blue 
or, or a cooler color is gonna have less effect. So this bone here, anything that's warmer, like the orange or the red or even the green, is gonna be more influenced by that bone. And all the way here to dark blue, it has no influence at all. So we're just correcting that painting and that looks better. So now we're gonna hold in control and click on the middle bone. And we can see here it has a bit too much influence here on the tip. So we're just gonna click and paint away with the subtract, like so. And we only want it to kind of affect this middle bit here. So let's go and change it to add. And then just bring this weight down or the strength. And let's just paint around here like this where it needs to affect the foot. So just like that. So just around, so anything warmer is gonna, that bone is gonna influence like so. Okay, that's much better. And then we can actually go back to the subtract and just slightly paint away here at the top for that. We're then gonna hold in control and click on the lower leg bone and let's go to the add and let's just quickly paint around here like this, adding some warmer values so it has more influence on the lower part of the, the mesh here on the leg. So pretty simple stuff. Um, just go back and forth, you can adjust the values. So just using that subtract or the add, just go back and forth like that. So it's kind of self-explanatory. Wherever you want that bone to have more influence, just give it more warmth. Wherever you want it to have less influence, give it a cooler value. So um, let's just go control, click on this top bone here. And that one actually looks pretty good right out of the box, how it was done. So let's quickly test this. Holding in control, click on this IK bone at the back and you can see everything's pink because remember we turned off the deform. So now if you go G, if you press G and you move that, you can see the influence looks really nice, okay? We can also go R to rotate, then we can see it pretty good. Then you can left, um, holding in control, click on some of the other bones press R or whatever and just test it out. If you see anything weird happening like over here, just go to the subtract and just get rid of it. If you ha accidentally, while selecting this bone, paint it onto the other side, you can just fix that issue. So um, just grabbing it, rotating it, moving it and weight painting till that all looks nice and natural and pretty easy stuff. You can see that all now looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off X mirror. I'm gonna go back in to the object mode up here. And now the legs at least are parented. So if you click on the rig in object mode and we go G to move it, you can see the legs go along. But we don't just have legs here, we have this other stuff. So let's click on the tray and then holding in shift, we're gonna select the rig. But this time, instead of going control P and doing the automatic weights, we're actually just with the rig lastly selected, we're gonna go into pose mode. And we can see we still have that orange outline here on the tray. We're just gonna left click on that head bone here, the, the one that we called face slash tray. And we're gonna go control P and we're gonna go with a direct bone parent, not with automatic weights, but with a bone like that. So now if in object mode or pose mode, we select this bone and we go G, you can see that tray goes along. You can see where we're going with this. We're gonna do the exact same thing, go back into object mode, select the chocolate, holding in shift, select the whole rig in object mode. While you have that lastly selected, you can now go back to pose mode and now left click on that body bone and go control P and then parent to bone. And now if we move that, you can see that is connected there. We can move it like this and then grab the tray and still move that independently. Once again, to reset anything, just press A to select everything, Alt G for the movement, Alt R for rotation, and Alt S just in case you scaled anything. So that's working pretty cool. Let's do the same for the eyes. We're gonna go back into object mode, select an eye, holding in shift, select the rig, go into pose mode, click on the eye that's appropriate here, the one on the left, go control L and then parent to the bone. And then the same thing, go back into object mode, select the other eye, holding in shift, select the rig and repeat. We're gonna go back into pose mode, left click now on the other eye bone, go control P and then go bone. And now if we select this um, body and we go G, you can see those eyes are also moving along. The only thing really that we have left now is that mouth. So that's what I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you how we parent the mouth and how we do the weight painting so we can control it in a really cool way. Actually, before we go too far, let's just make sure by in our pose mode here, let's just click on these mouth control bones and let's just make sure under the bone properties here that the deform is ticked on for these four bones, okay? The mouth ones, the upper, lower, and the corners because um, they are gonna actually be deforming, so that's important. So let's go into object mode and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this object here. The, the mouth, not the actual lip, but the inner mouth part. And while we're holding in shift, we're gonna select our rig over here. We're gonna go control P. So control P and we're gonna go with automatic weights. So now 
if we select our armature in object mode and we hold in shift and select that mouthpiece, we can go into our weight paint. And if we actually hold in control and click on any of these bones, so holding in control and left clicking, you can actually see the weights being applied. So you can actually just select any one of them and go G and move it around. And you can see that mouth part moves along. Um, remember, if you move anything, just go and select it and go Alt G, Alt R and Alt S, just to in case you've uh, moved anything and haven't set it back. So now that we have that out of the way, and we could, we'll probably come in here and refine it a little bit. Let's just go into our object mode. And let's just select now each one of these empties to control the lip. So I'm gonna select the top one. I'm gonna hold in shift and select the armature. Then I'm gonna go into a pose mode and then click on the bone that's inside of there. So this one here, the upper one, control P and we're gonna to go to bone, not automatic weights, just bone. And we're gonna go back into object mode and then we're gonna select this empty on the corner here and holding in shift, select the armature, go back into pose mode, then left click on that bone, control P and go to bone. And we're just gonna go back and forth doing this back into object mode. Now let's select this empty on this corner, holding in shift select the armature go into pose mode and then click on the appropriate bone control p and then parent to bone and then lastly let's do the bottom empty going to click on it holding in shift select the armature and once again into pose mode and then clicking on the bottom um, lip control here we're going to go control p and then go bone now what will happen if we select any one of these bones in pose mode and we go g not only is that lip going to move um the outer lip but that inner skin or the, the inside mouth bit is going to move as well and this is a really cool way of making this sort of effect so you can always see the color in here inside of the mouth and um this is a little technique i don't know if i came up with this i probably am not the first person to try this i just saw a lot of different um characters to this style over the years and i tried all different ways to make that because i couldn't find any specific tutorials on how to do that so i'm assuming this is how it's done um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the method. Maybe there's a better way of doing this. If anybody knows, definitely comment below. So um, yeah, let's quickly try it out. So if we now select our main rig down our, our um, root bone in object mode or pose mode, sorry. We can go G and everything should move along like that. It's excellent. If we now select our um, tray bone, that should all be good. Body bone, um, IKs for the feet. I think we have a working functioning rig here. That's really good. Let's go back into object mode. And this is one more thing. Let's just try this. Let's just select the in um, object mode, the rig by itself and move it. Okay, that's all good. Yeah, everything is working. I think that's actually our completed character. I mean, this is, let's just be honest, the hard part, the rigging and the modeling. Um, from here, what we're going to do, I think in the next part is we'll do the actual textures and uh, materials. And then hopefully after that, we'll get into our animation. So I'll see you guys in the next part. These things are always on Patreon, so make sure to check it in the description below. And thank you for watching.